He was sober and straight uh, with the drugs. With the women, I ain't gonna say anything. Okay. But, <laughs> Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where seasoned guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Richard Kind. Richard, let's see what's on, shall we? Let's go. All right. Boom. Then I found out she was just like every other woman. Helpless. Young and thin. Needy. <laughs> whining. That's what I was. Besides, I met a bimbo down at the bar makes Jennifer look like roadkill. All right. So it's safe to say that that line oh. would never work today. Frankie Lois. <laughs> I married you because it was cheaper than getting a maid. <laughs> Talk to me about working with the legendary Cheryl Burnett. She that was the great. A thrill for you. She was great. Uh, as kind as could be, uh, as funny uh, and warm in her sense of humor. Story. She could tell a great story. She knew exactly who she was. Don't think she doesn't have a foul mouth, but so nice. She was kinder than you'd ever think she could be and worked hard and was really worked to make a great product and make the atmosphere that you were working in as relaxed and good as can be and she wanted you to do her best usually when you audition for something you're out in the hall you're waiting for the casting director to come out and say okay you're next and you and you know it doesn't even look at you you come in they're all sitting at the table when i auditioned there was nobody there first of all and i'm in the hallway and out from around the corner comes carol burnett arms like this going uh, come on in, let's play. Oh, wow. As if to say, I hear you're great, let's see what you can do. Let's see what's next. Okay. Ready? All, All right. right. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, this is, uh, All right. I was very, it was Spin City. Yep, yeah, look at and, you, uh, look at that strut. Dickie Quinlan, when we were doing this, he was the director of photography, and he said, what you are doing tonight he will haunt you for, and be good for you. It'll, it'll follow you the rest of your life. And it, and it has. Very, very funny. Followed was, you all the way to couch surfing. It was, uh, uh, it was, that was a great show to do. Michael Boatman remains one of my dear, 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 dear best friends. And you were in every single episode of this series. As was Michael. And you were even there after Michael J. Fox left and Charlie And two years. Charlie was such a good guy, hard worker. Knew his law and knew his lines backwards and forwards, and that's because he had a good father figure like Gary David Goldberg, ah. and Gary was a father figure to everybody on the show. He was to Michael J. Fox, to Charlie, to the writers in the writers' room. Uh, when he was on the basketball court, he was coach. He was a great man. All right, look yeah. at this. <gasps> Andy, oh, David. curb your enthusiasm. Yes, you look quite good in that jacket. You're Let regular Hugh Hefner. Look at you. Promise me <laughs> this jacket. Oh, oh I can't. I can barely remember that. All I, I just remember the scene of going, ah, I had turkey today. And, and yeah, I, these guys are great. I, I saw them recently because I was on a couple of episodes. Cheryl was there in them and directing them. Oh. And then I saw them at the 100th anniversary, the 100th uh, show party they had. And I'm never out in LA because I live in New York. So it was nice to be out there. And he's a better golfer than you would think. And he's a nicer man than you'd think. And he's very, he's great. And he's, he plays a accentuated version of his being, but don't believe it. He's a, he's a great guy. And this entire and show is improvised. So what was it like? That's the right word. And nobody, nobody says that. They always say it's ad-libbed. It's improvised. Mm -hmm. We have a very detailed scenario. So in other words, take a, uh, a, a short story, right. okay, and you write out a short story in great detail, not what you're going to say, but describing everything and how we're feeling, and that's where we go from, Gosh. and we improvise the words that accentuate the story. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? That makes perfect But we don't ad-lib. We improvise. I like that. Okay. Right. Next up. Ah. What is it? Oh, this is a gorgeous. I just saw Joel yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, he lives in my neighborhood, and uh, Joel Cohen... And, and his brother Ethan are also shockingly different than what you would think. Okay, so... They're just guys. You know, when uh, w when we were down, you know, when they're resetting the lights, Ethan would just sit there with his guitar and what? just play, and he was great, and we would talk, and they're guys. They're normal guys. They, they, they really are. I'm not going to say that something's a little askew up there <laughs> to come up with the stories they do. Yeah, because this interesting. I mean, it's funny, if, but you, you it's also it? really bleak. Oh, yes. yeah. And how many times have you seen it? Once? Once, yeah. Watch it twice. Watch it twice. And watch it. Are you you're married? I am married. Watch it with your husband. Really? And find out how he feels about God, how he feels about life, 
and the, it will answer, it will ask philosophical questions, which the movie, this is a serious man, a, it, philosophical questions that nobody has the answer to, mm. but you have an opinion for, and you'll find out how your husband feels and whether you married the right man. If I married. <laughs> <laughs>
And he made me audition for this role. What? Good friend like that. I know. Hey, it's okay. I don't know. It's all right. right. But okay, I got the so role. So he's no longer the coolest person on the planet. He was never, I said he was uh, not cool. You were right. I said he was <laughs> not cool. Quick question. 25 years in the business and your career is hotter than ever. Well, first of all, longer than, it's got to be longer than 25 years. What's been the secret to your longevity? Uh, I, in the words of Hank Azaria, yeah. do you know the meaning of the word no? I take everything. I like acting better than money. Mm. And that is a very dangerous place to be. And right now that I live in New York and I have three children and the prospect of college is right around the corner, uh, money has become more important than ever and art leaves. But art should never, uh, never leave. Money is the evil of art. Oh, right. Well, thank you so much for surfing by, Richard. You can catch Brockmire Wednesdays at 10 on IFC. Great show. See you next week on Couch Surfing. Great show.